From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big night of evenings, LA, with huge news about your stocks, your bonds, and of course, your first stimulus check update of 2022. And tonight, we go over the latest details as the economy continues to spiral downward. And while Tuesday was a relatively calm day coming off of Memorial Day weekend, we have major developing details on the oil front. A four symbols check is now in every U.S. state. June 2022, direct deposits. Here we go. I'll go over how to get that incredible check in tonight's recording. Step one, subscribe. And step two, become a member. Over this one-hour broadcast, we have a lot of breaking news to go over tonight. As the Federal Reserve met with the President of the United States in the Oval Office today, talking about inflation, all the latest details tonight. The big issue at hand is that a recession is coming, and what do you need to know? I'll have the latest rundown on that looming recession. The housing market crash completely underway right tonight. As housing data released today, Tuesday, May 31st, revealed that the price of homes went through the roof, last month year to date why are the latest details tonight a force to check is in every u.s state and this is the result of my searching for it i'll have it for you in tonight's recording next up we'll look at those auto sales as they dramatically fell year to date the housing market down dramatically year to date and then of course we'll be looking at what's happening on the next horizon as the stock market crash is far from over it's a big night with a lot of money and the question at issue is how much more money could we get with the build back a better act that for stimulus would give additional sums of money and i'll have the latest details on that tonight then we'll be turning to the student loan debt forgiveness the developing items at issue the offer and was was rejected and then we turn to that major deal on oil that major deal on oil and why it's likely to send your price of gasoline at the pump through the roof as though it was not high already but over this one hour broadcast is this special recording the number one most watched show for financial news in primetime. We're going to go over those four small checks in every U.S. state. And step one, subscribe. Step two, get those incredible sums of money. And step three, become a member. And with that, from the shores of Santa Monica, California tonight, the incredible news starts right now as a big pot of money is available. And we're going to get it over this incredible broadcast. It's Evenings a la Light. About it. It's a beautiful night here for May 31st, 2022, as we go into a new month and a four stimulus check will be landing by direct deposit the month of June 2022 for the people who pounce and get it. I'll show you how to get those incredible checks in the second half of this recording. Stay with me over this one hour broadcast. I got massive checks for you, upwards of $80,000 of checks. We're going to go over the recession. We're going to go over the housing market crash of 2022. We're going to go over the stock market crash of 2022, just getting started. It's downward spiraling as well. And then we'll go over the breaking news that impacts your money tonight across the board. But the major story I want to start with tonight is not something that happened domestically, but something that happened overseas and impacts your money at home. It's a very big concern, and it's a currently a bigger concern of recession. What is the single most most uh, troubling issue that could send this U.S. economy into recession, I told you back in March. Gasoline. Gasoline prices out of control. So where are the prices of gasoline going in the next 90 days from now? A major new report released by J.P. Morgan Chase tonight reveals that J.P. Morgan reveals that the price of gasoline is heading dramatically higher. What happened? Well, if you're a longtime member of this channel, you saw the breaking news as I delivered to you in the membership alert on Friday. On Friday before Memorial Day weekend, the international price of gasoline, Brent crude, surged dramatically from an unsustainable level already at $114 a barrel to $120 on Friday. What are the analysts saying tonight about how high it's going to go? They're saying it's going to go to $185 really quickly. $185 basically means the price of gasoline at the pump, U.S., unleaded average could be $7 a, a gallon 
very quickly. What happened? And let me go over the details of it right now. This is the six stimulus package. In fact, they refer to it as the six package. This was the Western allies pushed to get off of that Russian oil. They said it day one when Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine, and it took them a few months. Well, they got it done on Sunday. Last weekend, I recorded the news for you that they're getting it done on Sunday, and they did. What did they do? They banned Russian oil imports to those Western allies with the exception of Hungary, Czech Republic, and Slovakia. That announcement, which I first reported on this channel on Friday, as absolutely happened on Sunday, did happen on Sunday. And when they made the deal on Sunday banning the Russian oil, the price of gasoline went higher. 120 a barrel. Now, let me tell you how bad this is. It's really bad because guess what's happening tomorrow? Wednesday, global markets will dramatically change because a major event happening. What is it? The end of the lockdown in China because of Omicron's subvariant. They've been on lockdown for two months, and their lockdown ends Wednesday morning. And this means they're back to normal, and they're back in their cars. They're starting to drive, and as they start to drive, they increase consumption. They are one of the biggest energy consumers internationally. And as they increase consumption, guess what happens? We have a shortage of gasoline. And that price of gasoline will skyrocket. Recession 2023, here we go, folks. The price of gasoline surging out of control because of a Chinese lockdown was what I reported no less than two months ago. But I did not expect that that event would happen the same week as the deal with the Western allies. So that is why J.P. Morgan tonight is saying 185 a, a gal a barrel for international Brent crude is where we're going. We've agreed that the council will revert to the topic as soon as possible one way or the other, said Council European Commissioner President Ursula von Leyen in a new statement today. That deal signals that Russian oil will be banned, and it's not natural gas. So if my international viewers were worried that there may be a shortage of gasoline, uh, natural gas to heat your home in the winters, that was not banned. What does this mean for you at the pump? It means for you at the pump, you need money. You need lots of money. And that is why you need a forced stimulus check. A forced stimulus check is now landed in every U.S. state in the second half of this recording. I'm going to go over that forced stimulus check. Because you're having problems paying for the gasoline right now at its current price point. Imagine when the gasoline is confirmed to be going up $3 more in the United States. This is a major surge of the price of gasoline. And why do I believe it's not going to come down? Subscribe, become a member, and get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. The reason why is the Western allies do not have anything prepared. They are really just a hot mess. <laughs> There's nothing to say good about them. The Western allies understood that there was 100,000 Russian troops at the Ukraine border back on Halloween. How do they know? Because I made the recording. <clears throat> Hi, thank you for watching. They watched my recordings. Everyone knew this. Back in October, there's 100,000 Russian troops at the Ukrainian border. If they invade Ukraine, obviously there's going to be a situation with the oil. We all knew this problem last October. Then in March, when the price of gasoline surged higher, we all knew we were going to get off of that Russian oil. I made the video, Six Stimulus, the Western trifecta we talked about. The Chancellor of Germany, the President of France, Macron, and Joe Biden, the, 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 the trifecta of progressiveness. We all talked about getting off of that Russian oil. It just took a little while. Were we surprised that the deal was done? Surprised the deal was done that quickly. Because when they said imminent last week, that's actually President Ursula von Leyen, we thought maybe a few weeks. Nope, it happened that Sunday, last Sunday. And there you go. If you think you are spending a fortune for gasoline nationwide, Add three more dollars on top of that. That's coming in just a few weeks because one, we have the Vla we have the Chinese lockdown ending, and number two, we have this new embargo. But number three, not to scare the socks off your feet. <laughs> Here we go. They have nothing set as a backup. Excuse me. <laughs> they have nothing set as a backup. There will be. 3.5 million barrels of gasoline missing a day, 2.5 million from, from Russia, and expected 1 million from that OPEC plus decreasing production output. 3.5 million barrels missing per day. Can we recoup that anywhere? No, we don't have anything lined up. Venezuela hasn't been finished. 
Uh, Iran has not been finished. United States, no, we do not produce 3.5 million barrels, even if we increase production domestically. And this is a major problem. And that major problem is why <laughs> you need a forcible track. If there was anything that really scared you, this is a reason to understand you need to get every check that I have for you in this recording. And the second half of this video, we're going to go over those four symbols checks in every U.S. state. We're going to go over those checks, how you get them right now, put them away, save them. Because this economy is going down very, very quickly. The situation 90 days from now is going to be very severe. Remember the gasoline you're paying for at the pump right now was bought months ago. The price of the gasoline that's going to come to the pump in a few weeks is the price that's being felt now. So that's delayed. But let's go back to the help on the way. The help on the way is the Build Back Better Act. The Build Back Better Act would give you additional, additional checks on top of those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Three clusters, three add-ons. Where are we tonight? Negotiated between, being negotiated between Joe Manchin and Chuck Schumer. Two individuals who have said the following comments about the Build Back Better Act in the last few weeks. Number one, they're going to get it done. They say, number two, that they really like working together with one another. Number three, that you need it. And you really do need it. Later in this recording, I'm going to go over everything that's moving in parts right tonight. But you feel the financial pinch right now. And that is why they're going to get it done. Three clusters and three add-ons. What it would be the survival mode of those clusters and those add-ons? Would they all survive from 2021 to now when they pass it as law in the next few days and weeks? Let's do the analysis right now. Three classes and three add-ons. Any provision that involves expansion of Medicare, not going to survive. And anything for paid leave, not surviving. Why? In my opinion, this is the comp these are the items that Joe Manchin said in 2021 he's not doing. So let's analyze each of these checks one at a time and understand how much would survive. Fifteen dollars to $80,000 of forced almost checks are in the Build Back Better Act. Again, these are on top of the existing checks in every U.S. state. First is the $25,000 add-on for the purchase of a new home. This is the Maxine Waters provision. The legislator from here in Southern California, she got that provision in there. Would that provision survive? I believe Joe Manchin would keep it in there. Why? Housing industry is already starting to implode. We already stand, understand it's going down very quickly. You can't afford a home. The home prices are too high, are actually higher now than they were last year. That data is coming up in just a second. The mortgage rates are dramatically higher. So the people of West Virginia that Joe Manchin represents, of course they need that help to get that home bought. I believe that provision would survive. What about the next provision? $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Shockingly, not a law. This was a Joe Biden promise put in there by Bob Casey, the senator from Pennsylvania. Will it survive? Sadly, I don't think it will. This is a provision that's funded by the expansion of Medicare. And with that expansion of Medicare, then what does that mean for you? It means that the provision would likely not survive because anything that is expansion of Medicare is a no non-starter for Joe Manchin. What else would survive or not survive? Well, back in the month of March of 2021, all the way to September of 2021, tens of thousands of viewers were told by seven legislators, senators, that they're putting in a monthly stimulus check in there. Monthly stimulus check, that stands for MSC. And would that survive? I believe it would because there's nothing anti-Joe Manchin in there, nothing that would dislike Joe Manchin across the board, I believe that provision would stand in there. How much they want to pay? They had said to viewership of this channel, $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter, for up to six months. It's about $7,000. Let's go to the individual clusters and see the survival mode of those individual provisions starting right now. In that first cluster, which provisions would survive and which would not? Hazard pay. One more year of the earned income tax credit for my essential workers. Would that survive? Sure, why not? $4,000 of elder care. $4,000 of care for young children. Would that survive? Sure, why not? Unless it's funded by Medicare, it would survive. Nutrition. Checks for nutrition. Would that survive? Yes. Home repairs. Absolutely, why not? I don't see no reason for it not to survive. 
And then the $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. Yes, yeah, so long as it doesn't impute anything from the energy space of which Joe Manchin is a commission ahead of on the Senate committee. Let's go to that second cluster. What provisions would survive and not? Home repairs is already <laughs> a four symbol check in every U.S. state. It's coming up late as according. But the paid leave from cluster number two would not survive, in my opinion. This was a provision that Joe Manchin spoke extensively about in 2021. He initially said, take it out. Nancy Pelosi took it out. Then she put it back in there in spite of him. Now that she is not part of the negotiations, I believe that would absolutely get removed by Joe Manchin. It's not going to survive. Now let's go to that third cluster, checks. This is where we see the real fatalities. Free and for all checks, yes, that would survive. Farmers checks, yes, those would survive. Uh, independent contractors checks, yes, those would survive. But here come the fatalities. Everything for seniors would not survive, in my opinion. Dental, out. Vision, out. Hearing, out. Lowering the eligibility age of Medicare from 65 to 55, out. And then the Medicaid expan expansion that will provide a workaround plan in 12 Republican states to ensure that people have coverage, that would survive. Those are the three provisions across the three, the, the Build Back Better Act, and that's where we sit tonight. You know, there's a lot of predictions in that in that scope based upon Joe Manchin's comments of 2021. I know what you're thinking. What about Bernie Sanders' comments? Yeah, it's it's hard to gauge what's going to happen because Bernie Sanders says he will never support Build Back Better Act if you don't give him the dental vision and hearing for the seniors. So it's really hard to tell. Joe May and he's not part of the negotiations. So he's going to be basically given a bill that he said he wouldn't do in 2021. Will he fold like a lawn chair? Or will he block it and demand the revision? Finally, uh, the Votorama. <laughs> I was watching one of the, one of the uh, encore shows last night. The Votorama, the Criollo Rama, the, um, the Stimma Lama, <laughs> the Dalai Lama. That is still happening. Basically, the way this would happen is Chuck Schumer, Joe Manchin would finish the negotiations, one. Then they would draft it up, or their staffers would draft it up. <laughs> They don't work that much. Uh, then they call it for a vote in the Senate. Bernie would get upset. <laughs> I don't know what happened after that. And then they'd have the two-day voterama in the Senate, likely first. Then it would go over to the House, where AOC would be very upset. Uh, and AOC may modify some stuff. And then it goes back to the Senate if there's modification of the, of the provisions. Next up, the President's Table to sign into law. And then when in your hands, well, it's sort of obvious Joe Biden needs to get you this money before you vote in the midterm elections. If he watches this channel, hi, Joe. If he watches this channel, he learned, he has to have learned by someone else's mistake of 2020. His name was Donald Trump. In 2020, I said, Donald Trump needs to get that stimulus in your hands before the election night. He didn't. He got it in your hands 60 days after election night. It doesn't make any sense. People running for office need to get you stimulus before they do it. And why is it so important for this time around? Georgia. Here we go again. Oh, sweet Georgia. Here we go again. In December 2021, we understood that those two Georgia Senate seats on runoff, Raphael Warnock and, and, and Ossoff, Ossoff, and they were up for election. And they promised you a stimulus check if you elected them. And they got elected and the Democrats took the, the Senate. This time around, it's deja vu all over again, as Mel Brooks used to say. What's happening? Ossoff is up for re-election this November, which means you vote in July. You vote you know, four months ahead of time by mail. And he's running against Herschel Walker. Contested race, it's going to be a very heated race. And that is why you're likely to see uh, you're likely to see Manchin and Schumer with the support of Warnock getting these stimulus checks out to you far in advance before you vote in the midterm elections to secure that they get that situation locked down. Now, the other thing that supports the Build Back Better Act is bad economic data. And boy, do we have a lot of bad economic data today. Continues this downward spiral. And here is some of the data happening left and right. We'll be analyzing some of this more late in this according as we go over the housing market crash of 2022. But let me go over some of the data that came in today. Last Friday, we learned on this channel that the housing sales fell down, fell 17% year to date. So what did we learn today, May 31st? Home prices surged 20% in the month of March year to date. 
Was that a price that people were buying at? No. Housing sales surged 20%, excuse me, the housing price of the homes on the market surged 20% in the month of, of March. This is, again, a year-to-date number. So they were up 21% compared to March 2021, according to a S&P CoreLogic case seller number. Did people buy at that price point? Of course they did not. For those of us who had anticipated deceleration of the growth of the home prices, we'll have to wait a month later, says Craig Lazara. This is a great comment. So Craig is basically saying that this is data from March. We have to wait for the April numbers, and those won't come out until June. What about the mortgages, which surged out of control starting in February? We're not seeing those numbers yet. Mortgages are becoming more expensive as the Federal Reserve has ratcheted up the interest rate, suggesting that the macroeconomic environment may not support extraordinary home prices much longer. Well, Lazarus' comment is fascinating because that's what we learned on Friday. No one is supporting these price points for these homes, and that's why. The price of homes may have gone up 20% March year to date, but no one paid at that price point. What happened? Basically, houses and the home builders did not absorb the cost for increased price of homes. They passed that cost over to you. And the data that came in on Friday is live data. It's not delayed 90 days out. That data showed that people did not pay more for a home that is now up 20% year to date. That's why the housing starts were down 17%. We weren't done there yet with the data across the board. The other data that we got in was exemplary of a, an economy that is slowly going down. When we look at the housing uh, crash of 2022, we are currently underway in that. The mortgage rates have certainly been part of the equation as they surge from two to three, two or three percent in the month of February to now five and a half percent. This is the highest mortgage rate we've seen for a 30-year fix for a generation. That's not sustainable, and that is why. Nearly one in five homes have dropped their price point for the week, four weeks ending May 22nd, the largest drop of the sale of homes we have seen of a generation. Housing could send the whole U.S. economy into a tailspin, and that's not the start of the equation. The next part of the equation is that inflation. The inflation is out of control. And Jay Powell's approach to it is to raise those interest rates to battle inflation. Does it work or does it not work? It does not work. The latest details tonight is that the bear market is likely to continue. And that bear market will continue to spiral with a downward spiraling stock market with it as Jay Powell continues to raise interest rates. Where are we tonight? A lot of data and a lot of bad economic news. The stock market is already down 26% year to day, and it's just getting started. In a bear market, the stocks go down 26%. The whole market goes down 26%. In a bear market with recession, we go down 48%. That means that if you're looking at your individual stock and it's down a lot, but the whole market is only down 26%, you have a lot more to go down. You're going to be brought down as the whole market goes even lower. And this is because j is going to do another interest rate spike. My prediction is the May is the June FOMC meeting will have a half basis point increase. July half and then August quarter. Jay Powell was in the federal was in the Oval Office today with Joe Biden. His comments were not released at the time of this recording, but it's likely that he said much of the same narrative that he's getting inflation down to 2%, he says, and that his toolbox is working with the tools in it not working. And that is why it's so important to understand that the recessionary environment that is upon us just months away is all caused by j Powell. The situation is very fluid, and here's what you need to know. The data that I've been predicting to you is being confirmed left and right by nonpartisan government agencies, the Congressional Budget Office, number one, and also the Department of Labor. What have we learned in the last few days? Here we go. The U.S. Department of Labor di predicts that the GDP will drop dramatically. They predict that GDP will drop to a 1.5% annual pace by the end of the year, lower than Wall Street, uh, will decline at 1.5%, and will sink all the way down to nearly 1% by the end of early next year. Here's what they're saying, 2.2% GDP growth for 2023 and 1.5% for 2024, I'm saying zero. So they're getting really low on this number. This is both the Department of Labor and CBO. 
Then when we look at inflationary numbers, Jay Powell says he's getting inflation out of 4%. No, not happening. I've been saying, excuse me, 2%. He says 2%. I said, no, not happening. He's getting it down to 4%. What did the CBO in that core producer price index number released last week and in the Department of Labor's analysis say? 3.8% inflation by the end of the year. There we go, right on the money. What is the takeaway tonight? What is going to happen in the next 30, 90 days? In the next 90 days, you are going to see very bad news. Number one, you're going to see the price of gasoline surge even higher. That's the first item. Number two, you are going to see Jay Powell in the next 90 days do three interest rate spikes, 50, 50, and quarter. Then in the next 90 days, you're going to see the jobless claims surge. 200,000 new jobless claims the week last week. This is a troubling number, and this shows people who are going on unemployment at a number we have not seen since the start of the pandemic. Not a good number. Number next, you're also going to see those corporate earnings continue to report the supply chain disruption. And supply chain disruption is far from over. And thereafter, what are you also going to see? You're going to see the stock market crash even further. Downward spiral for stocks, the housing market already in a recessionary environment, I'm predicting, and also the auto industry in a very bad tailspin across the board. Is anyone trying to solve these situations? Not really. Is anyone trying to step, step up and try to get that solution for the gasoline? Not really. What am I doing? I'm here and I'm getting you a forced stimulus check. I am here and getting you a forced stimulus check. If you're new to this channel, let me tell you what you watch on this channel. You watch the financial news, you watch the financial predictions of this market, and you watch a guy that gets people checks. I've been doing it since day one, and now even more than ever, as the financial carnage being predicted by analysts out of, San, out of San Francisco is 90 days away, as most analysts say, 90 days away, here comes the here comes the truck crashing, 90 days away, that is a very ominous future, but I already focused on this back in March. When the viewership of this channel said, LA, can you give me a force stimulus check, March of 2022, Build Back Better Act isn't law yet, I looked high and low, and I found it. I found it for you. Why? There's three different ways you can get a forced stimulus check. The first one is by Congress. Hasn't happened yet. That's Build Back Better Act. The second one is by executive order. Has happened. And those are the forced stimulus checks coming up later in this video. And the third way is by states. States have a lot of money. What is this money? It's third stimulus money. In third stimulus, they put a provision in there. We learn from second stimulus, which is use or lose. States were given fortunes of money, and they have to use the money or lose it. What is the lose? they got to return it to the federal government. They don't do that. So they spend the money on you. And that is why I was able to find those checks back in March. Now, as we go into the month of June, those checks are coming by direct deposit. If you remember this channel, you can get it. You have found the channel that has found the checks, that has delivered the checks, that viewers have gotten the checks here on a regularly, nightly basis. You're not going to see this in print media. You're not going to see this in cable news. You're not going to see this on YouTube, somewhere else, because those other people don't care. They just report the latest details across the board. They don't hunt down checks for you. I've hunted them down for you tonight. And in the second half of this video, we're going to go over these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Step one is to subscribe to this channel. Step two is to become a member. Step three is to get that incredible newsletter, member newsletter, coming up later tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And in the second half of this video, we're going to go over these incredible checks one at a time. I'm going to do some new analysis you've never seen before in the second half of this video. And I'm going to show you why it's so important to clean up with these four stimulus checks upwards of $80,000. As one longtime viewer, her name is Kat, was in the live chat just two nights ago, says, LA, you do eligibility really well. Understand these checks are for you. A four stimulus check is in every U.S. state. So it's in, it's in your state tonight. I'm going to show you how to get it tonight. Number two, it's available for you. Here's the eligibility. Single individual, $75,000 or less. Married couple, $150,000 less. If you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits. If you have children, if you don't have children. And if you rent or own, it is available. It's coming up in the second half of this video. These are monster checks. And if you think your financial environment is a little bit uneasy at the moment... 
but you're not sure if you should make the effort to get the checks, get them. Because in 90 days from now, you're going to see in the second half of this video, this economy is going to go down very quickly, very badly. And then we're going to recession next year. And you don't want to wait too long. That's one thing I've been very good with viewers over the last two years. I've gotten viewers over $50 million, but also I've given viewers guidance. Where we're going before we're there. No one wants to be told you're already there and then you panic because you don't have the money ready. That there is a recession. But before we get to the recession, there's a lot more downside to this economy that's going to spiral costs out of control for you. And that's why you got to get these checks. We're going to go over all these incredible checks in the second half of this video. But first, here's a little bit about the members community page. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. And in the second half, we'll go over the latest developing details on that student loan debt forgiveness debacle. <laughs> More about that in a second, but here we are. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. As America's most watched show for financial news in primetime evenings, LA continues shortly. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now in a big second half of Indians LA from the shores of Santa Monica, California tonight. How are you? In this big second half, we're going to go over the latest developing details you need to know about this recession, about the looming stock market crash of 2022, and then also what is going on with the stock market crash of 2022. A lot of money and a lot of questions at issue. We're going to go over everything you need to know as a new night is upon us and everything that's happening thereafter. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, good evening. I hope you had a beautiful Memorial Day weekend. And let's get back into the breaking news tonight. The breaking news tonight is that a forced stimulus check is in every U.S. state, and you're not going to see this in print media, cable news, or anywhere else. You found it here on LA. I care. I care to get you money because you deserve the money. You deserve lots of money, and especially right now, as the economy goes downward, and certainly before we go into recession. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over all these incredible checks. I hope you became a member during the commercial break. And if you did not, become a member right tonight because these checks are available for you. Monster checks up to $80,000. And we're going to go over all those incredible four stimulus checks starting right now. A four stimulus check, number one, is in every U.S. state. It was done by executive orders by Joseph Biden. It was also done by the states. How do you get those incredible checks? Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. And step three, get the incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let's go over how we got to these checks and then explain how the delivery of these checks happened. These checks are a needle in a haystack. <laughs> they are a needle in a haystack. That is why you're really only hearing them here. You're not going to see them anywhere else in your local news, cable news, broadcast news, or anywhere else. There's checks in every state. Kentucky, Oklahoma, o Ohio, every state, Florida, Texas, every state, every state, there's checks for these four stimulus checks. I found lots of them, and I gave them a lettering system. Check A, check B, 
and check C. Check A is in every U.S. state. Check B is in every U.S. state. Check C is in every U.S. state. And I'm going to go over all each of these incredible checks one at a time. And how do you get them? First, remember that you're eligible for them. $75,000 less, single individual, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits, go get it. And have children, don't have children, rent or own, go get it. So which is the first check you're going to get? The first check you're going to get is check A. Check A is a force almost check in every U.S. state. And let's look at that incredible check starting right now. I get monster checks. I do not get puny checks. And that check A is a monster of a check. It is $6,500 to $12,000 as a check A. That incredible huge check is a force almost check in every U.S. state. $6,500 to $12,000. It's called the homeowner's grant check. How do you get this check A? Step one. You subscribe under this video. Step two, you become a member. The membership link is under the video. Join the channel. Become a Purple Hawk member, Calcino VIP member, or Purple Power member. Then, step three, get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, delivered via the YouTube alert system. Go down to that membership newsletter until you find that incredible check A, and there it is. Click it, and there you are. There is that incredible force stimulus check in every U.S. state. In that membership newsletter, it's all organized so simply for you. As Carol says, LA does all the work for you. Why would you look anywhere else? I organize the checks for you. I put them in the newsletter. I deliver the newsletter right to you. All you do is click the link. You go right and apply, and you are done. It is wrapped up in a bow and delivered in a box, and it is ready to pounce. Go get it at $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check, but we're not going to stop there. There, no, no, no. We're going to ride into check B. You're going to get check B as well. Fifteen dollars to $80,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. $75,000 less, single individual, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you're on benefits, SSI, veterans benefits, go get it. How do you get check B? Just like check A. Just slower down, lower down in the newsletter. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become an L8 member. If you're a member in your live, the live chat, you see the beautiful emoji behind your name of a Purple Hawk. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Then get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, delivered via the YouTube alert system. You go down to that membership newsletter to find Check B. You click the link at Check B, and it goes right into the nationwide website. At that nationwide website, you put your information in, you apply, and you're done. For check B, <laughs> fifteen to eighty thousand dollars. Look at that monster check. I really care about you. I only want you to get monster checks so you are financially independent, so that you have your bills paid off, and that is where we are with check B. But we're not done there yet. No, no, no. We're going to check C. It is a beautiful check of twenty-four thousand all the way up to really almost one hundred fifty thousand. It is an MSC baby monthly stimulus check. Averaging $2,000 a month over 12 months. Viewers have been getting this check since December 2020. And it's for my renters. <laughs> Congratulations. My renters and my homeowners. How do you get this? Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Go down that membership newsletter till you find check C. At check C, you are shown where to call, what to say, and how to say it. In the case of check C, it's not an online application. It's actually phone calls. And you're going to make all the phone calls. I tell you in the membership newsletter who to call, what to say, how to say it, and where to do it. And you're going to pounce and you're going to get that incredible Chexy. Chexy is the legacy of this channel. Chexy started back on this channel in December 2020. In the thick of the pandemic, Americans were watching the negotiations between Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin on second stimulus. They were not getting the money. It was not becoming a finality. And they said, Alec, can you find us some money? I did. December 2020, I looked high and low and I found some rent and utilities. Helping keep people's roof above their heads in the thick of the pandemic of December 2020 when there wasn't a lot of money. Thankfully, at the time, I had a piece of legislation that was proposed for next year. And I coined the expression third stimulus. And I said, when it becomes law, I'm going to get you about 15000 I didn't get the viewers on average 15,000. I got them 45,000. Let's look at the numbers. This is check C. What is now called check C. Back at the time, I called it purple. And then it became third stimulus. 
Twenty to thirty thousand dollars for rent, utilities, upwards of fifteen thousand, like Mark's brother in law. Snap, upwards of twenty five thousand dollars a year for Mark's brother in law for ten years, a quarter million dollars. Camos, Nisi at twenty three then. Now she's almost fifty thousand because she keeps on getting eight, seven thousand every few days. Mark at thirty two thousand then. Then he went to fifty thousand. Now at a hundred. Then went to one sixty six because he got check uh, B a few days ago. And Lorraine, she was at one five, and now she's at one twenty. That is why you want to become a member. You don't want to play games with this type of money. As you see, this is check uh, C. Been around a while, and you ultimately don't know how long it's going to be around. So that is why you want to get the money right now because he's forcing most checks in every U.S. state. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, delivered via the YouTube alert system. At 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tonight, you will get one of those alerts. Remember, subscribe, go to the front of this channel, there's a little bell, hit that bell and set it to all notifications, all notifications, and uh, there's a little bell, just push it and that goes to all notifications. Then at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tonight, you'll get an alert that says LA Newsletter, click here to see the post. Click and go into the post, you read it, that's the newsletter. Then you go down to check A, apply, check B, apply, check C, apply, and you are ready to rock and roll. So, so excited. Remember, Check C is by telephone and not online. Now, if you have had problems finding the membership newsletter, you're a paid member and you're having problems finding it, or you're having, you want to have some questions about manipulating it or how to use it, send me a private message on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash LA Light News. And I'll send you a self-help video I made that explains everything about the newsletter. And it really makes it simple and clear for you. That incredible newsletter has been the praise of viewers a lot lately because it is so simplistic and makes it so easy for you. And there you go. That is the situation tonight. Now, let's turn to that student loan debt forgiveness, which is really a debacle getting worse by the minute. The President of the United States uh, really did not think this through. And I think Ron Clay and his chief of staff made this even worse. What really happened here? When you become president, you run for president, you have ideas of what you want to do. And then some people don't agree with your ideas. So what do you do if some people don't agree with your ideas? Do you placate them? Or do you just do what you're going to do? Or do you lead them on, making them think that maybe you'll do their idea? Well, in this case, Joe Biden really did the last. He led people on to think that maybe he would do something other than what he really wanted to do. When he ran for president of the United States, he said, I would do $10,000 of student loan debt forgiveness. Great. Uh, it's not a small amount of money, just good, go, go do it. Day when the administration started, he should have done the $10,000. Did he do the $10,000 the first day of the administration? No, he did not. Why? Because of Liz Warren and Chuck Schumer, who came and said, do $50,000. So he continued to have meetings in the White House, no less than three. Then he saw videos popping up on YouTube from Liz Warren saying, do 50000 then he started to hear uh, advocacy saying do 50,000. Obama's former education secretary, person after person. The talk really just got a little bit too heated. What should Joe Biden have done then? Just do the $10,000 and move on. Rather, what he did was piecemeal. He forgave student loan debts that were procured by fraud by the university against the students. Good, look great, but again, piecemeal. Forgave debts for individuals who became disabled after graduation, went to work in the nonprofit and public sector, piecemeal. Piecemeal does not go well with optics because guess what? Not everyone reports a piecemeal announcement. They may not even cover it in the news. So a lot of people didn't know about all these piecemeal items he was doing. And then he said, I'm telling Miguel Cardona to come back to me and give me guidance on what to do. Again, a lot of delay. So what happened two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, I said to you that insider, that advocates were going to the White House to advocate for $50,000 to be forgiven. Well, you and I know he's not going to do $50,000. So they went in there, said $50,000. He said, no, $10,000. And what happened? They got so angry, they ran to press, and they said it was a slap in the face. He brought it upon himself. This is bad planning by the White House, bad planning by Ron Klain, bad planning by the, by the president. If you just want to do $10,000, Joe, just do 10, day one of the administration. Don't leave people on. Don't avoid the discussion. Don't placate the issue. Just do the 10, and people will be upset and move on and do the next item. And what's happened? He didn't do the 10. He didn't do the 50. He made people think that maybe there's opportunity for the 50. 
when deep down he really only wanted to do 10, every day, the front story on broadcast media is student loan debt forgiveness. It's everywhere. Left and right, commentary. And guess what? People are very, very angry tonight. This is all his fault. You know what? You need to sort of have a conviction with what you want and just stay with it. And you can't make everyone happy. The offer on the table, again, it's only an offer. It's not a deal. It's $10,000 for individuals who make $150,000 or less. Married couple who make $300,000 or less in one year. Does that make sense? No. I don't even understand mathematically how to explain it to you because it doesn't make any sense. Because you could have a good year and then you could have a bad year. Your debts may not be forgiven in one year but would be forgiven another year. None of this makes sense. It really doesn't. Now, let's turn to that six stimulus and that oil situation, which I think this is really out of control. You understand that six stimulus, that Western allies way to get off of that Russian oil has been the talk of, the, of this channel since March. We all knew it was happening. But do we ever know what the backup plan was for the oil? Venezuela? Well, Venezuela has, has uh, human rights violations and there have been embargoes against Venezuela for many, many years. Has anyone approached the situation to get it solved? No, they have not solved the situation with Venezuela. What about Iran? They did. France and Germany were negotiating in, a, in Brussels on behalf of the United States. And that Iranian oil would involve the disarmament of those nuclear warheads, the JCPO deal. Did they get it done? No. Why not? We don't know. I mean, we literally have no reporting on the subject matter anywhere. No reporting means no one's asking the questions. Reporters are not asking the questions. I keep on asking the question. Why is there no deal with Iran? Why is there no deal with Venezuela? Here's the problem tonight. You're ready for this one? I'm about to scare your socks off. The embargo of the Russian oil is not just the start of the equation because Iranian, uh, uh, Russian oil counts for 2.5 million barrels a day that will no longer be available. What else is on top of that? The other part of the equation is the reduced production by OPEC+. Plus. That's about a million. That's 3.5 million barrels a day missing. Nothing in the United States produces gasoline ever would ever be able to produce 3.5 million barrels. Nothing in the Western allies. Do the Western allies have a solution lined up to buffer this off? They do not. So I have no idea what's going to happen, folks. I really don't know what's going to happen. And when remember, what I talk about on recession on this channel, I say that if our Western allies go into recession, we go into recession. So imagine what could happen in just a very short horizon. You know, it was last, uh, it was February this year that I said the U.S. economy will be going to recession in 2023. In February this year, I said we're going to recession next year in January. But it was also in March, I said to you the following words. The price of gasoline at $111 a barrel, Brent crude, is not sustainable until the month of May. And I said if that level continues to skyrocket, we're going to recession. Well, here we are in June. And the price of gasoline, according to J.P. Morgan, could go to 185 Folks, it's causing me strain to say maybe the recession won't be in 2023. Maybe it'll be in late 2022. Because if this spiraling out of control of gasoline really hits this hard, this is not part of the equation I ever, ever betted for on this channel. You know, when we talked about 120 a barrel, international brand crude, when China comes off a lockdown, that was one part of the equation. When we talked about 115 back in March, when Putin invaded Ukraine, that was one part of the equation. But tonight, when I look at these numbers, I mean, it's just, it's, it's out of control. And to think that it could go so much higher, how much are you actually paying right now when we do triple A versus international brand crude? The international Brent crude tonight is about a 120, but you're not really paying 120. You're paying about 135. It costs money to convert the oil to, to gasoline so that you can use it. So if you're currently paying 135 and the price of Brent crude is 123, 124 today, and JP Morgan says it's going to go to 185, <laughs> 185. 185 and we're currently at about 123 so that's 60 dollars up plus you add another 10 or 20 dollars to convert it to to uh refined oil to go into the pumps of the gas station 
That's the equivalent of basically $200 a barrel, international brand crude, which is how much up from where we are right now? $70. It's almost $70 from where we are right now. That is... <laughs> $70 up from 123 that is more than, you know, more than 30%. That is an astronomical rise. I fully believe that the gasoline domestic average could surge to $7 very, very quickly. How many people can afford $7 a gallon? How many people can afford $4 a loaf of bread? How many people can afford a mortgage rate of $5.25? How many people can? No one can. And that's why this recession may actually come sooner than thought. Tonight, we saw what happened on the housing front. And that housing data, which was a day, for a Tuesday, May 31st, there was not a lot of brand new economic data because we were coming back from uh, Memorial Day weekend. But the housing data did come in. And boy, uh, I just got it. <laughs> Every time I turn to housing, I just sort of think to myself, these people are just, they've been hitting the hammer too much. <laughs> They can't hit the hammer on the nail. They can't hit the head on the nail. They are just getting this housing this housing market really bad. The housing market crash of 2022 shows how ridiculous these home builders are. What did we learn in this new data tonight? That the housing prices went up 20% in the month of March, year to date. So March, let's think back to March. That was when we were one month into higher mortgage rates, but just a little bit higher. So, <laughs> they were really betting the barn, <laughs> the, or the mansion, on their strategy. Higher labor costs of the subcontractors, higher material costs. Let's increase the price by 20% on the month of March and see if the consumer buys. And we see that mortgage rates are getting a little higher, but maybe they'll still buy. They did not buy. They did not buy. This shows how ridiculous one industry is really approaching the situation, and that is where the downward spiral of a bubble-like environment hits. Housing sales down 17% year to date. That is an April number. So that is a more contemporary number. That's because those home builders raised the price, the mortgages went higher. They raised the price 20%, folks, not you know a few dollars. And now data tonight shows that one in five home has been slashed by price in the last uh, two weeks. So this is more contemporary data because they're not selling the, they're not selling the items. Let's look at the auto sales. Same industry, same approach, same ridiculousness. What do the auto dealers do? 2021, everyone's buying a car. 2022, no one's buying a car. So what do the dealers do for the auto sales? They reduce production and increase price. Same as the housing industry. They try, they are trying to make a five to six thousand dollar profit per car when they only made two thousand dollars a profit a car on average, even last year. Did the buyer buy? No. The sales are down dramatically, down 24%. Less cars on the lot, higher price of cars. Auto dealers trying to give themselves a bigger profit. Did it work? It did not work. And this is why a recession is going to happen, because there's too many people doing the wrong pivot at the wrong time and not gauging the situation. The stock market crash is among the other issues. Uh, all the millennials who thought it was just a dip two weeks ago, it's not a dip. All the people that think that Bitcoin, you know, tonight is at 31,000 or 30,000, up, you know, 3% or 4%, all that are ecstatic that Doge is at a beautiful 8 cents. <laughs> Just ecstatic. Oh, let's celebrate the 8 cents. This is where people really do not have their heads screwed on right. They're going to get eaten alive. Eaten alive as assets values will fall dramatically. And that is why it's important to get a force almost check in every U.S. state. 90 days out is when it's going to get very, very austere. And that austerity is going to be featured on the video coming right up after this. I don't want to hit it too much uh, over and over. But I want to tell you, 90 days from now, the financial downturn of this economy will be very severe. You may not know what it really is called. It may be very hard to name what the environment is. But it's going to have higher price of goods, higher gasoline, more corporate layoffs, less hiring in the jobs, higher uh, higher unemployment numbers, no unemployment benefits, uh, difficult for small business owners to get the consumer into the store, difficult to supply to battle a supply chain disruption as a small business owner, and downward spiraling stocks in both blue chips, tech, housing data is going to get worse, auto data is going to get worse. It's going to continue to unravel. 
And with that, what are you doing? <laughs> You're becoming a member. Step one, go to the top of the channel and hit that subscribe button right now. Step two, hit that membership link. No one cares more about you. That is why I'm going over excruciating detail of where this economy is telling going in 90 days. You need to get every check. You need to get every check. I'm, I am dedicated to your financial independence so that you get the money now so you're prepared for the financial onset of a very bad downturn in 90 days from now. Recession of 2023, I'm not even looking at yet. I have no idea if they'll ever even help you then. But there's money available right tonight, and that's why you got to get the money. You cannot wait. You cannot afford to wait. And when you get the money, I want you to get more of it, the money. Keep on getting the money over and over again. Step one is to subscribe to this channel. Step two is to become a member. Step three is to open that membership newsletter tonight and go get that big sums of money. A force to most check is in every U.S. state. The programming continues throughout the night. Evenings are late every night at 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time, America's Most Watched Show for Financial News. 6 o'clock is Countdown. 7 o'clock is Street and Stimulus. 8 o'clock is Evenings Extra. 9 o'clock is Sunset. And then our overnight shows continue throughout the night. We're back over in the morning with Sunrise. Before Sunrise at 3 and 3.30. Early mornings at late at 4 a.m. Then we go into Mornings Alley live on air at 9 and then noontime at 11 a.m. You can't miss one check because you deserve every check. Go get that big money tonight and get it right tonight while it's there. And from the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Thank you for all your incredible questions and comments. I'll see you throughout the night. Stay here and stay with Alley for more.